we have uh, a special announcement regarding our facility today. Um, so as many of you know, uh, we have been um, at a place starting last spring where Pastor Brad and the elders announced that we are going to be looking for our next home as a church community. Um, believe it or not, we are starting to really outgrow this place. Uh, today, it doesn't show because of travel and, and fall break, but we, we've known for a long time that this place, as wonderful as it's been for us for the last uh, three years, um, that it probably wasn't going to be our most permanent home. And so we put together a facility task force uh, last spring. Uh, I'm helping to lead that. We've got some incredible members of our community that are a part of that facility task force. And we've been tasked with doing a number of things. Number one, uh, with identifying just what this facility uh, is worth and uh, what we could potentially uh, sell it for or potentially lease it for. And then also we are beginning and have been uh, more actively now looking for our next home as a church community, hopefully a little bit closer to kind of the Hardin Valley area, which is uh, generally where most of our people reside, kind of Hardin Valley Carnes area. And so with that, I have uh, a really uh, special announcement today to say that uh, we are actually uh, in contract right now uh, to sell this very building. Uh, we have a contract uh, for $1.1 million, which is about 20 to 30 percent higher than what we originally thought we would get for this property. Don't worry, uh, we are uh, safe here. We're going to stay here for quite some time. It, it, we built into the contract what we call a lease back. And so if this contract comes to sale, uh, which the closing date would be in early December, if this, if this does in fact work out, um, by early December, if we were to close, uh, we would have uh, the ability to lease back our current facility at minimum through June the 1st of 2025. And so uh, there's a wonderful uh, church community uh, a little bit further uh, north, uh, northeast of here. It's a Coptic church community, a wonderful Christian community, uh, often based in um, some of the uh, Middle Eastern cultures of Iraq, Egypt, and other places of the world. But there's a Coptic American church that's going to be, that's in contract with our church right now. And they're a growing church. They're really excited about this place. They just had a building inspection last week. It's not a done deal. I do want to say that. So we are not completely over the hump yet, but I wanted you to know that we have a fantastic offer, a fantastic contract, and if this comes to fruition, we will be really more aggressively preparing for that next facility. Prayers. Would you pray for our facility task force as we continue this important work? We've identified some really neat opportunities uh, with other buildings, other land, and we also are identifying other partners, potentially, to work with in this regard. One thing about church is the buildings are often underutilized. We don't want that. One of the highest priorities of our facility task force has been to look for even other churches or other nonprofits or other schools that we could partner with on our next home. And so that is a high priority of us. Pray for our facility team. Um, it's, it's a labor of love, and uh, we appreciate uh, your prayers for that. With that, I'm going to pray for us as a church community, and then I'm going to invite Jackie forward uh, to read our scripture. Let's go to the Lord once more in prayer.